Hi to you, this is Scenes Behind the Paintings, my vlog where I'll show you a little bit behind the scenes of how a painting is created. And today I'm painting cows in beautiful morning light in spring standing near water. This is so pretty and when you find something that is so 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 pretty you almost think that it is impossible to uh, paint it. Here you can see I'm walking to the best spot, finding the best spot. Huh? It's so different. Here you have backlit tracks. It's delivering a total different painting. And I know I don't know if the camera can see it, but look at how greenish blue those cows are. Here is also a good spot. But then you'll need a lot of room for this water. It could work. It can also be failing. Have this weird angle in. But I think that here I had the harshest light and a tree in front. Uh, yeah, okay, the light is changing. So what is better? Uh, don't know. So when you have something so, so beautiful and they are perfect the way they are standing, you cannot mess around painting sky and grass first. You'll need to dive straight into the shapes of the cows and then probably mold that green behind it or give it a quick green part in or reds and greens quickly and then put shapes in and then later do sky and everything. Yeah, so that's so important. I will try it. Yeah, their perfect position already gone, but uh, yeah, this is how I will be building it today. Yes, there is no fixed way and people might be surprised. Hear me say this, yes, but I say uh, there's different stars for different moments and solu different solutions, yes, to different days or circumstances here. I know that will be lazing. I know that first cow is so interesting. I want it in. Um, I did color my sky, as you could see here. Warm, that's important. This one dropped the head, so I cannot see it so well now. But you can look at other cows, yeah? You can look at other cows, maybe in the same position when the sun is shining. Oh, busy road. Okay, I will now focus on maybe that big one near, try something. I will continue. So this is very far from uh, having a finished painting. And what you see is mostly blobs. And yet, uh, I hope I can make this composition work. Uh, you need to start somewhere and you need to just put shapes down and then if you think it could work then you continue on with maybe sky and everything. They might be returning and so you can finish your shapes. Yes, that's how I do it. So it can work out but uh, uh, not not now, eh? this is not okay enough. Unfortunately, a lot of chaos and a lot of decisions to make here to make this work. So yeah, it's difficult, eh? uh, but we will just continue.
So, my God, uh, hours, hours. Uh, is it done? I don't know. Is it good? Maybe. Um, maybe it's great. This face is maybe too much of a chaos. Maybe it's just right, huh? What is this difference? Um, I think there's a balance. That's what I look for, yeah? Colors, strokes, those tiny verticals. Here, there, there. In different colors, returning. Yeah, I think it's done. And um, when there's a balance of strokes, it is maybe done. And then it is not so much anymore about did I get everything in? Or, yeah, it's more about the total. Strokes, in harmony, balance, intuition yeah, would be deciding uh, if this is the case. Um, yep. So you could of course put a white line again next to this face, but then this face is the main one and I want this one to be having the main line on the face. Yeah, this water might be going up, but then I need it to go out, so maybe I just need to be fixing the angle. I can stroke on and on, but I do like certain parts. Um, yeah, and then sometimes it is better to not touch it again. I could let this cloud be, maybe have a sort of a mirroring and make this one more light or more pink. But I think that would maybe damage uh, it, making it too much mirrored. Uh, what's this? Is this a lack of this cow? No, they're lying. I could fix it, but I do need those verticals somehow there. Um, yeah, so I think it's tricky. Huh? Nobody can tell you when a painting is finished. In the end, it is just a intuition thing. And sometimes you choose wrong, sometimes you choose right. But if an inner voice says done, uh, it might be done. Yes, and then if you don't listen, uh, then you would maybe end up with 90% or 80. I'd rather have 95. Yeah, so yeah. So, I hope you like this again. Find this painting and all others on my blog where I talk about each painting. I show stories from the field and uh, a little bit of explanation here and there, seascapes, uh, cow landscapes, sunscapes, etc. etc. Go to roosgeuring.com slash blog. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I do have a full cow course. Uh, I'm working on my book. Maybe it's done. If it is, then it's there. Book. I also have seascape paintings in a book. I also have a full plein air book that you might like. Um, that's more theory based. Uh, all the stuff I've learned uh, ever since, uh, let's say, 2000. So I think that, uh, yeah, I'm very proud of this book, so I think you will like it. It also comes with an audio version and video examples so uh, check it out uh, put it here and thanks again see you next time never give up put in the hours and we'll get easier that's how i did it that's how everybody should be doing it yes and failures winnings all in the game i thank you again good luck bye bye